Hey guys, it's Nikki. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my hair care routine. My hair care routine is honestly really easy. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys basically the products that I use to fix my hair on an everyday basis, what I used to make it wavy. I have naturally wavy hair, how I use to like maintain. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys what I use to make my hair look shiny and silky throughout the day as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing my hair care routine, then let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so to start off, I thought I would show you guys my brush and some of the tools that I use. So for a brush, I use a wet brush on an everyday basis. Um, yeah, there's lots of hair in this brush, so don't mind. I have a turquoise one, but this is just what I use on an everyday basis. I use this to brush my hair when it's wet. I also use this to brush my hair when it's dry, and I really like it. It gets all the tangles out, and it just really makes sure that my hair looks nice and smooth, and I love this brush so much. It looks better than... I used to have a brush by Conair for a long time, but it didn't do a really good job of detangling like this one does. And it doesn't hurt, which I like because I have a pretty sensitive head. So I don't like it when brushes tug on the tangles, but they don't actually detangle. And this obviously is a miracle worker when your hair is wet, but I wanted to obviously talk about it when it was dry as well. And the next thing I use is I just use a regular comb to help with parting my hair. I also use a teasing comb to help with like obviously teasing and giving my hair some volume and giving some more pieces some volume that look flat. So that's pretty much what I use every day for tools. So now we're going to be getting into the actual hair care products. So the first thing I'm going to start off is what I use when my hair is dry versus when my hair is wet. I wash my hair around once or twice a week depending on when I wash it last but typically I only wash my hair once a week. So with that being said a lot of my products that I use when my hair is dry I tend to use a lot more versus when my hair is wet. So first thing that I use on an everyday I use the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil and this is heat this is also a heat and UV protective primer. But this is really nice because it's basically like a pre-styler. You can put this in your hair beforehand before you style it. It helps with frizz, it helps with detangling, it also helps with heat if you decide to put heat on your hair, which typically I'm gonna be honest and say I went through a phase where I didn't really put heat on my hair and now I do, but I'll kind of read what this is supposed to do. So, a mist of many wonders softens, detangles, defrizzes, tames flyaways, eases styling, and protects against breakage, heat styling, and UV damage. Spray on damp or dry hair, comb through, and style. I pretty much just use this as like a detangler, and this is one of the first things that I use when I go to brush my hair. The first thing I do in the morning is I brush my hair and then when I go to actually style and fix my hair, that's when I will spray this through. One product I wanna talk about, which has been a lifesaver of mine for years, and that is dry shampoo. I use the Batiste dry shampoo and I use it in the Divine Dark because I only spray it in my roots here. So this matches my roots perfectly. If there's a day where my hair is super oily or it just feels a bit greasy, typically I can get that way on the second or third day. I will spray some dry shampoo in my hair. That's usually the first thing. What I'll do right when I wake up is spray some dry shampoo so it sits in my hair and then I will go through and style my hair after and that's when I'll use the bubble and bumble. But yes, usually this is the first thing I'll do when I wake up in the morning if I need a good, um, if I need a good dry shampoo because obviously with me only washing my hair once or twice a week, I'm in need of some dry shampoo because I can also tend to fall flat in the meantime just because obviously I'm not necessarily washing my hair so it can sometimes get a little greasy but I've also trained my hair. I've only, 
I've washed my hair one day a week or twice a week for the last, I want to say, four or five years. So my hair is used to not getting washed a lot. It's actually better for your hair if you don't wash your hair every single day. And as me, where I frequently do color my hair or add highlights, it's also better for my color um, that I don't wash my hair every single day. Um, also, I don't really have any. I have old color that has grown out from like way back in the summertime, but it's getting to be that time where I do color my hair. I don't color my hair, I want to say... I think I only color it like two to three times a year out of all the haircuts that I get. I do have frequent hair checkups to make sure dead ends and layers and everything is taken care of, but I do have frequent hair checkups that I do. So obviously I do take care of my hair and I regularly go to the hairdresser or the hair salon and get it done. But I just wanted to point out that obviously I don't wash my hair every day for those reasons. But I love this dry shampoo. I've been using this dry shampoo since like high school. I typically use this one and if this one's sold out, I'll just use the regular one. Um, I buy just the regular size. Um, whenever I'm going to travel, I will buy the little travel bottle um that they have of these but typically i buy this size sometimes i buy the jumbo if it's available a lot of times the jumbo size is sold out whenever i go to buy it which is my luck but usually this can get me through a long time before i have to buy a new one so i love this dry shampoo i've used it for years um I'm thinking about getting like a colorless, just like a regular one to use like at night whenever. So when I know my hair is getting to that point, I can spray it in at night and then in the morning when I wake up, it's not going to feel as greasy. So yeah, that is my dry shampoo. Last thing I always use is hairspray just to finish up. It kind of just locks in a style. Even if I'm wearing my hair natural like today, I will spray a little bit of hairspray just to give it some volume just so it sets and the hairspray that I use is the Shab the Sebastian Shaper uh, plus hairspray. I have been using one it comes in a jumbo bottle which I love but I've been using this hairspray for I want to say like the last three years and it is my tried and true hairspray. I love it because it's super lightweight you don't feel like you're wearing hairspray but the one thing I really love is it doesn't make your hair crunchy and it doesn't make your hair super stiff. So after you spray it in, it won't move. It does a good job of maintaining your style. It does a great job of holding your style, holding any flyaways or just keeping a style in place without making your hair look crunchy, feel heavy or without making it um without just making it look stiff you're still able to move your hair around perfectly fine after using this you're still able to style it without it just feeling like sticky and gross you know how some hairsprays when you spray in it's just got this weird film on your hair it makes your hair crunchy it makes it stiff when you touch it it's sticky this doesn't do that and I love it and like I said it keeps my style whenever I curl my hair or if I straighten my hair I love this so much I think that it does so much for me and does so much for my hair so I really do appreciate this I love you you're my favorite so that is this hairspray this next product I just started incorporating this year I saw it it was new I wanted to try it and I really like it this is like a finishing spray which I've never really used a finishing spray is typically like a shine spray or like a gloss spray that you use pretty much after hairspray. You just do a little spray and it's supposed to make your hair look more shiny. And this is also by Batiste. This is the Shine Mist Touch of Gloss in uh, Champagne Sorbet is the scent. It smells really good and it makes my hair smell really good. I'll read what this is supposed to do for you. Um... This high gloss lightweight formula was designed to keep hair polished with next level salon shine between washes. This luxuriously fine mist glides onto hair bringing out its natural luster along with alluring fragrance that lasts up to 8 hours. 
for salon level shine that leaves your hair looking vibrant and smelling fabulous every time. So I use this, you can use this when your hair is wet or dry. I do use this um, on my hair when it's dry. And I also use it when it's wet as well when I wash it, but when it's dry, I'm not gonna spray it on my hair right now because I already put some in earlier. But what I do is I basically will fan out my hair like this and I'll spray it. And I mainly focus it on more of like the ends of my hair. I don't spray it up on my roots because obviously I don't want my roots to look shiny and greasy because that's kind of the look it can give off. But I just kind of fan it as I spray it like this. And then typically I'll just take my fingers and fluff up my hair like this and kind of distribute it through with my fingers and that's typically what I'll do. It keeps my hair one smelling really good but it also um, makes my hair look really shiny and really fresh and then when my hair is wet typically what I'll do is I will spray this right before I blow dry my hair. Um, currently I don't have a blow dryer. My blow dryer is down for the count. I've had one for a really long time by Conair and it died. And when I say really long time, I'm talking like seven, eight years. Like it's, it's ready to go. So I asked for a new one for Christmas. So we'll see if I get one, but if not, I'll just go buy one. Um, it's not that big of a deal, but so right now I'm letting my hair air dry. Um, just for right now, since I don't have like a blow dryer that works. <laughs> So I just spray this on my hair basically after I brush it and everything when it's wet and I just do like the same effect and then when it dries it looks shiny. So the next two products I have to talk about are products that I use when my hair is specifically wet and these are products that I only use when my hair is wet. So the first thing that I use, um, the first thing I use straight out of the shower after I towel dry my hair and I'm going to go brush it out, I'll use the It's a Tan Miracle Leave-In product. And I have been using this product for, whew, I don't know how long, it's been a while, but I love this. I love this product. I swear by it. I've even tried going without it to see if it was like me, like if I was just like using it just cause or if it was actually that good and it's actually that good. So this product, it's just great. It's basically like a leave-in conditioner. So after I get out of the shower and my hair is wet, obviously my hair is tangly, when is my hair not? I spray this through my whole hair and then I brush it out with my brush. And if there's any spot where I do have a tangle, I do focus this on that area and then the tangle will completely come out. I mean, it also helps that I have a wet brush, but this and a wet brush is like the secret combo I never knew I needed. It also makes your hair really silky and it does a great job of making it look really smooth and also it does help with detangling and frizz as well. That's why I love using this straight out of the shower because it really helps with detangling and making your hair look super um, silky and everything. That's one of my favorite things about this product, especially the detangling part. Oh my goodness. Now technically you can use this when your hair is dry, but it does work better when your hair is wet since it is like a leave-in conditioner and then you kind of brush through your hair after. But sometimes if I get a really nasty tangle while my hair is dry, I'll spray this in there and it'll work like a charm. So this is great, I love it, and I think it works really well. This last product I use, this helps mainly just maintain my waves when my hair dries, and it also helps with um, making my hair look really smooth and shiny and silky as well. But this is also by Sebastian Shaper, and this is the Sebastian Whipped Cream. Now, don't be fooled. It smells like a hair care product, but it literally looks like whipped cream. So, if you have little ones or if there's people staying at your house, please don't leave this around where they could potentially think it's whipped cream because it even says whipped cream on the front and um, it doesn't necessarily say that it's a hair care product until you actually look at like the little labeling on the back. But when you smell it, 
It does not smell like whipped cream. It smells like a styling product. But after I brush my hair out with my It's a 10, I will basically squirt this into my hand. I'll lather it up and I will basically do exactly what I'm doing here. I will just run it through my whole hair, really coat my hair with this and really focus it on my ends here, especially where my curls are or where my waves are and then I take my hair and I'll kind of just scrunch it a little bit and then when my hair dries if I blow dry it or even if I air dry it it'll make my waves look nice and bouncy and full and fresh and that's what I really like about this is it really makes my natural waves pop out in the most like glossy easiest way possible versus them just being like meh you know so it really gives them like a nice little uplift um a nice little bounce I washed my hair two days ago so you can still kind of see I have a little bit of bounce to my waves um but that very first day it really just makes my waves really pop out in my hair and that's what I really like about this product and plus it smells really good like I can't get over the smell obviously it doesn't smell like whipped cream it just smells like hair product like it just smells like really yummy hair product that is the best way i can describe this but i love this product i've been using it for a couple years now and a lot of these products i've been using for like a year or two minus the shine spray but pretty much most of these products i've used for a while and i swear by them i'm also very picky about hair products and i'm also pretty about uh, picky about makeup so Obviously, if I like it, I'm going to use it. Another thing I want to talk about is shampoo and conditioner. It's in my shower right now, and they're kind of like, you know, I just showered, so they're like wet, so I don't want to get them out. But I use the Biolage Matrix shampoo. I've been using that shampoo for a while. I've tried several different shampoos, and that one's my favorite. I use the Biolage, the color. I, my bathroom door is open, so I'm just looking in right there. I use the Color Matrix one, so... Obviously, with me liking to frequently color my hair, it helps keep my color nice and vibrant and it doesn't strip my color either when I wash my hair, which is really nice because some shampoos that aren't like a color lasting shampoo can strip your hair and strip your color and you obviously don't want that if you wash your hair frequently. So this one keeps my color nice and vibrant and keeps my color in my hair and it doesn't pre it also prevents with like fading and make sure that it doesn't do any of that but yeah that is it that is all my hair products that I use hopefully you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it also too don't forget to subscribe down below for new videos since it's vlogmas and turn on that bell to be notified when I upload a new video since it is vlogmas and we're going to be getting into 2022 here soon but yeah, let me know what hair care products you guys love down below. Let me know what your favorites are. Let me know what I should try. I'm always up for trying new hair care products, even makeup, but we're talking about hair today. Let me know what you've tried and leave it down below. Also, let me know what you don't like and leave it down below because obviously there are so much hair products on the market and the last thing we want to do is fry our hair. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.